Welcome in for your weekly reading. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for my Virgos. What is going on with my camera right now? Okay, y'all, last week was a little bit of a roller coaster ride, okay? I don't know if anybody else experienced that, but it, it was a little bumpy, like the last, last reading said so, at least for me. Um, hopefully this week is a little bit smoother. So the song I got on shuffle was Into You um, by Matisse and Sadko. Um, so it's like talking about like, you know, somebody being into you, you know? Um, but I, I'm kind of getting more, I'm seeing 9-11 and 7-11. Uh, also, if that's like significant for anybody, but I'm seeing like, I feel like there could be also like this need for you to go into you, you to be into you, you know, when we focus on that, um, when we focus on connection with ourselves, it creates more connection versus if we're focused on separation, like it's creating more separation of self, but sometimes we focus on separation external to us and separation is an illusion. Um, so the best way to connect is to connect with self. The best way to create connection is to create connection with self. Um, okay, enough of that rambling. I'll dive into the cards. Let's see what we got going on for my Virgos this week. Caution, keep your guard up. So there may be a need to be a little bit protective with your energy this week, it seems like. We have patience. Long road ahead, reward awaits, and gratitude, appreciate present blessings. Um, so I think there's a need for you to potentially go inward, like what I just said. Um, really protect your energy and really like sit in that energy of the present moment. When we sit in the energy of the present moment, it's a lot easier to experience that sense of patience because what's the rush? What's the rush when we realize that we already have everything that we need within us? And sometimes we elude ourselves or like delude ourselves to thinking that something external to us is going to bring us a feeling or sensation, okay? Um, damn, deep, deep reading this week. Also, all my hypnotherapy, um, my hypnotic programmings are currently on sale. So if you're interested in my glow up, the weight loss one, if you're interested in the money mindset, and I also have a little $15 gratitude um, manifestation amplifier. So be sure to check those out. I really do love the little $15 dollar one um the manifestation amplifier i've been doing it in the mornings to just help me reconnect with that energy of gratitude and excitement for the day all right let's see moonology cards please a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer okay so um oh my god i have something in my eye okay so it could be a little bit of an emotional week, which is why you're needing to protect. We have bring love into the situation. Something that's near and dear to you, I feel like could be getting resolved, but it is going to require um, seeing something, choosing like forgiveness, choosing to see something from kind of a loving perspective. Um, again, seeing seeing whatever's external to you as not external to you, okay? So if there's somebody that you're angry with right now, the easiest way to mend that connection is to mend whatever it is highlighting or mirroring inside of yourself. Um, prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So I like like where the energy is moving towards the end of a tough cycle approaches. So we have full moon in Cancer and full moon in Capricorn that showed up. I like where the energy is moving because I feel like you're going to find your stability here. You're going to find your stability here. And even more so than that, it's going to be like this sense of 
sort of thriving and increasing in your um, abundance, whether that's material abundance or uh, self-worth and self-esteem. We have Aquarius. I know um, it's about long-term visions and goals and also like kind of what I'm saying, like connecting with humanity, connecting with the collective consciousness. We have Virgo, I analyze, which can be more of a nitpicky energy. And then we have third house messages. So there could be some kind of communication coming in that's like asking you to look at the bigger picture. We do have Uranus here, genius. But for me, Uranus is always like unexpected, unpredictable, spontaneous. So you could be getting like a message um, you could be getting messages, you could be throwing a little bit of curveballs, but it's like really processing the information that you are being given. Like there could be a lot of processing happening for you this week. We have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck, which talks about crying over spilt milk. So there could be something here that there's like some kind of guilt, regret, remorse, that's happening and it's like you're you're wasting time like crying yeah crying over spilt milk right it's like you're wasting time being concerned about these cups that have already spilt over instead of focusing on the cups that are still upright it's like there's something that i feel like you need to just shift your attention and awareness from overall energy of the week we have the hierophant so two taurus energies here you guys um this week does have its silver lining there is this sense of commitment and sometimes the hierophant can be commitment to a higher purpose this can talk about some kind of like spiritual commitment that you're making um some kind of spiritual commitment that's going to be in a sense offered to you what is the hierophant doing here it's something that's like it's there's a lot of promise here promise for prosperity and abundance as you move towards whatever this is what is going on here oh the six of wands victory victory and a homecoming of sorts. I feel like there's something, a homecoming. Coming home, could be coming home to self. Um, what, let's get one more. The 10 of swords, okay. So see, this is like breaking a pattern, um, breaking like 10 of swords always to me is like, it can talk about betrayal, it can talk about, um, you know, a painful experience, but it does, it is the swords, which represents our own mind. So it can be our own self-sabotage. So it could be that you're overcoming some kind of pattern that has been very painful for you. The beautiful thing about the 10 is that you are at the end of it. It's done. It's over. You've reached its completion. You now have clarity and understanding. So with this closing of the cycle, there is this, this promise. There is this promise. We have the three of pentacles. We have the four of cups. Okay. We have the seven of wands. We have the six of cups and we have the two of swords, three of wands at the bottom. The two, the two came through, um, right off the bat. I feel like there is, there's a potential disappointment that could happen, but if you can persevere and push through it, you do have something really great that's coming through. Um, and this could deal with like reconciliation. Six of want, the six of cups is always like a nostalgic thing. And sometimes it can represent healing our inner child or healing from a past situation. Um, so it doesn't always mean that there's like somebody from the past coming in. If it doesn't fit your narrative, don't, don't force it. But the six of cups can talk about 
going back and healing something that's happened in the past, um, reconciling with something. So let's see. Um, the three of crystals, what's the three of crystals doing here, please? This is about like collaboration building. Um, the page of wands. Okay. So something that you've been working on, it's like, I feel like you have a message coming in and this message is like, um, almost like I want to see what you've been working on. I want to see what you've been working on. This could be like metaphorical too. So take it how it resonates. I want to see what you've been working on. You might get like critiques on something. If you've been working on a project and like this person's like, I want to see what you got. Um, you might get critiques on it. I feel like you could be bummed out by the critiques, but if you don't look at it from that perspective and you look at it from like, oh, this is what I still need to work on to perfect it. That's giving that Virgo energy, not being so hard on yourself and seeing the opportunity here. Um, for some of you, it's not going to be that specific. It's more like something you've been working on. I feel like you might get a message and there's a need to like readjust. There's just, it's just a readjustment. It doesn't mean like you don't have to take this disappointment to heart. Okay. Let's get one more for this. What is this message coming through? The star card. So part of this is going to be a moment of vulnerability and healing. Okay. Um, like the critique is part of the healing. I don't think it's necessarily like a critique. It's just notes, notes. And it could be you giving yourself some notes. All right, why is the four of cups here, please? The king of wands. Okay, so this could be another person here. Um, why is the four of cups here, please? Four of cups, king of wands, the knight of cups. So you could be getting an offer coming in, but maybe it's like not the offer you wanted. Um, King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is definitely some kind of offer and opportunity paired with the Four of Cups though. Four of Cups can sometimes be like focusing on a missed opportunity when the universe is still handing you handing you a cup and you're like, oh, but that's not the one that I want. And you're just so focused on, you know, that you're not seeing the opportunities in front of you. Okay. So, so there's something along that nature that's going to happen that it's like, if you can really, really unblock your perspective and really, really see something from like, no, no, this is, this is an opportunity you're being given like it's not a yes but it's not a no it's a readjust and like let's let's circle back here some of you this is going to have to do with like work or a project um and that that there's an opportunity in that because it's like it's it's not a yes right now all you have to do is tweak this little thing right i don't know listen sometimes Sometimes these come through confusing for me and I get comments that are like, be more clear. I'm like, listen. <laughs> if you can see the future super, super clear, props to you, start your own channel. All right, the seven of wands. What's the seven of wands doing here, please? This is all about perseverance. Oh, the seven of swords, that's fun. Let's go one more. The Three of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna get one more there. The Strength card. Okay, so this is the guarding thing. This is about the like stay protected, stay guarded, and stay patient. There could be some kind of hiccup. There could be some kind of hiccup here that like, I feel like the message is though, when this hiccup happens, you are you are not seeing it clearly. You're seeing it through this lens of disappointment, which is almost what's making it worse. You need to shift the perspective and see it as something different than what it is. You're not seeing the full picture. You are not seeing the full picture. You're seeing your mind this week is 
is potentially going to be tricking you, okay? Because even with this Seven of Wands, it's like they're looking over this little thing. They can't see fully, all right? And then the Seven of Swords talks about deception. And then like with the Three of Swords, it's like this feeling of disappointment and then pride coming in. So it could be all of these things that are like creating this sort of barrier that, that's not allowing you to see see fully clearly <clears throat> okay but then we have the six of cups and what is the six of cups doing here please the tower card all right this is where that unexpected energy is showing up um and the page of swords so you could see some like it's almost like oh my gosh okay so you're not gonna see something clearly and then like remember how i said the barrier the barrier breaks and then it's like you see new you receive new information you receive new information that you're like oh wait it's almost like wait i was just thinking that this was this and then this happens and like there's something here that i feel like you're going to be like i want to get to the bottom of it you don't need to get to the bottom of it okay you don't need to get to the bottom of it <laughs> i don't know what's going on this week but then we have the two of swords and the three of wands so this is like Two of Swords to me is going inwards for the answer. Like you don't need to look for the answers. All you have to do is go inside and the answers are there. I know that's super cryptic, but that's the message. Three of Wands. You go inwards and then what the answer that you want, the clarity that you seek is, it, it shows up. What is this? The Chariot card. The Ace of Crystal. See, this is beautiful. The ending of this ends on opportunity. Opportunity, this kind of Hierophant energy that I'm getting, that an opportunity is going to be offered to you. It's solid. It's stable. The Chariot it talks about success. It talks about movement. It talks about your life purpose, being on the path to your life purpose and like confidently confidently moving forward on that path and purpose that's going to be made clear to you so amidst all of this craziness that looks like it's happening the end of it results in i see i see the opportunity i see where i need to go towards and it's going to happen when you go sort of inwards and you confront these like maybe internal monsters maybe it's not even stuff that's happening externally maybe it's stuff that you inside of you you haven't wanted to confront let's get a couple more cards and see what is going on for my virgos this week knight of swords clarity and communication the five of wands this could come with a little bit of conflict though like you're be careful what you wish for if you want clarity and communication you got to be prepared to deal with the clarity and communication, right? You got to be prepared. If you're asking for the truth, you got to be ready for the truth. The Eight of Wands, fast movement, communication. What's happening for my Virgos this week? The Justice card. Okay, so something's going to, and then the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So something you've been asking for is showing up, but I think like that's part of the that's part of the little like roller coaster here. There's some kind of internal conflict because it's like you could be like, I want the truth, but it's like something inside of you is like, do you really want the truth? And when you kind of have this shift, there's like a shift that's happening and then it's like, boom, it's coming in justice, something settled, something's balanced out. Um, and then you're moving into something like more congruent, like you're moving into a more congruent energy by the end of the week. I'm telling you with the two of pentacles there, it's like you're juggling and you're balancing. And then the nine of pentacles is like abundance, self-reliance. Like I got this, I got this. So the, the week ends with, I got this. Okay. But right now, right now. You might be swimming through the trenches, okay? So it does feel like if you didn't watch last week's reading, go watch last week's reading because it feels like it could be an extension. We're coming up on eclipse season, okay? 
the nodes are at play right now. Libra, Aries, listen, right now is a little bit of chaotic time, but know that it's bringing change that is going to be aligned with your future. So if you're interested in checking out the extended, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into these topics. We're going to look at the archetype cards. We'll pull from the tea leaf tarot. We'll pull some romance angels message cards. So if you're interested in just diving a little bit deeper into what's happening for you this week, be sure to check it out and I will see you over there.